Hello again, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion for Wednesday, May 11th, 2022. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today, as together we grow in our faith and in our knowledge of Jesus Christ as our Savior. Today, we remember two brothers who were missionaries to the Slavs, Cyril and Methodius. Cyril lived from 826 until 869. Methodius lived from about 815 until 885. They were brothers who came from a Greek family in Thessalonica. The younger brother took the name Cyril when he became a monk in 868. After ordination, Cyril became librarian at the Church of Holy Wisdom, also known as the Hagia Sophia in Constantinople. In 862, the brothers were sent by the emperor as missionaries to what is now the Czech Republic, where they taught the native Slav taught in the native Slavic tongue. Cyril invented the alphabet today known as Cyrillic, which provided a written language for the liturgy and scriptures for the Slavic peoples. This use of the vernacular established an important principle for evangelical missions. Today, we continue reading in the book of Deuteronomy. Today, we hear about the three festivals in the Jewish religious year that God expected every Jewish man to attend, if they were all at all able, at the place where the Lord chose to place his sanctuary. Eventually, that would be the temple in Jerusalem. Um, but these three festivals that every uh, Israelite man was supposed to attend every year, um, if at all possible, were the Passover, Pentecost, and the Feast of Shelters. Set aside the month of Abib and observe the Passover to the Lord your God, because the Lord your God brought you out of Egypt by night in the month of Abib. Sacrifice to the Lord your God a Passover animal from the herd or flock in the place where the Lord chooses to have his name dwell. Do not eat leavened bread with it. For seven days you are to eat unleavened bread with it, the bread of hardship, because you left the land of Egypt in a hurry, so that you may remember for the rest of your life the day you left the land of Egypt. No yeast is to be found anywhere in your territory for seven days. And none of the meat you sacrifice in the evening of the first day is to remain until morning. You are not to sacrifice the Passover animal in any of the towns the Lord your God is giving you. Sacrifice the Passover animal only at the place where the Lord your God chooses to have his name dwell. Do this in the evening as the sun sets at the same time of day you departed from Egypt. You are to cook and eat it in the place the Lord your God chooses. And you are to return to your tents in the morning. Eat unleavened bread for six days. On the seventh day, there is to be a solemn assembly to the Lord your God. Do not do any work. You are to count off seven weeks, counting the weeks from the time the sickle is first put to the standing grain. You are to celebrate the festival of weeks to the Lord your God with a free will offering that you give in proportion to how the Lord your God has blessed you. Rejoice before the Lord your God in the place where he chooses to have his name dwell. You, your son and daughter, your male and female slave, the Levite within your city gates, as well as the resident alien, the fatherless, and the widow among you. Remember that you were slaves in Egypt. Carefully follow these statutes. You are to celebrate the festival of shelters for seven days when you have gathered in everything from your threshing floor and wine press. Rejoice during your festival, you, your son and daughter, your male and female slave, as well as, the, as well as the Levite, the resident alien, the fatherless, and the widow within your city gates. You are to hold a seven-day festival for the Lord your God in the place he chooses, because the Lord your God will bless you in all your produce and in all the work of your hands, and you will have abundant joy. All your males are to appear three times a year before the Lord your God in the place he chooses, at the festival of unleavened bread, the festival of weeks, and the festival of shelters. No one is to appear before the Lord empty-handed. Everyone must appear with a gift suited to his means, according to the blessing the Lord your God has given you. Appoint judges and officials for your tribes in all your towns the Lord your God is giving you. 
They are to judge the people with righteous judgment. Do not deny justice or show partiality to anyone. Do not accept a bribe, for it will blind, for it blinds the eyes of the wise and twists the words of the righteous. Pursue justice and justice alone, so that you will live and possess the land the Lord your God is giving you. Do not set up an Asherah of any kind of wood next to the altar you will build for the Lord your God, and do not set up a sacred pillar. The Lord your God hates them. Our psalm today is another psalm written by David. Today we're going to read Psalm 103, in which David rejoices in the forgiveness of the Lord. My soul, bless the Lord, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. My soul, bless the Lord, and do not forget all his benefits. He forgives all your iniquity. He heals all your diseases. He redeems your life from the pit. He crowns you with faithful love and compassion. He satisfies you with good things. Your youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord executes acts of righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He revealed his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in faithful love. He will not always accuse us or be angry forever. He has not dealt with us as our sins deserve or repaid us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his faithful love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows what we are made of, remembering that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He blooms like a flower of the field. When the wind passes over it, it vanishes, and its place is no longer known. But from eternity to eternity, the Lord's faithful love is toward those who fear him, and his righteousness toward the grandchildren of those who keep his covenant, who remember to observe his precepts. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all his angels of great strength, who do his word obedient to his command. Bless the Lord, all his armies, his servants who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all the places where he rules. My soul, bless the Lord. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today. May the Lord richly bless your day. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.